Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Your daily astrology reading for September 4th, 2024 is the waxing crescent moody moon enters into people pleasing Libra with action taker Mars entering into emotional cancer for the next 60 days. The emotionally centered communication will be what makes us feel more stable. When Mars is in home-centered cancer, we spend our time focusing on home and the people we feel matter most to us. Your daily elder Futhark rune for September 4th, 2024 is Kanaz. Kanaz, the letter K, meaning beacon or torch, associations are creativity, awakening, growth, opening, illumination, self-knowledge, and vision. Today, your focus is on using your creative vision to bring the long-term changes you want in your life. Your daily romance angel oracle card for September 4th, 2024 is, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This card indicates that you're protecting your heart from hurt because of painful relationship experiences. However, the angels can only bring as much romance as you'll allow inside. If you have a shield around your heart, how is love to get in? A closed heart repels the sensitive partner you're trying to attract. Following your inner guidance will protect you and simultaneously allow you to feel loved and loving. Trust your intuitive senses with respect to other people's trustworthiness and open your heart to those who are kind and gentle. Ask the angels to bring caring individuals, including a romantic partner, into your life, and they'll do so, provided that you listen to and follow their guidance. Your daily fairy wisdom oracle card for September 4th, 2024 is Home Sweet Home. Card 64, Home Sweet Home, The Return. Tap your heels together three times today. There are three levels to this card. One, this card is about returning to your roots. This may involve a trip to your childhood home or to your relatives. It involves thinking about old memories from the past, perhaps releasing those that are not so good. Age and life bring more understanding to events that happened in the past. The lessons are now easier to understand and absorb. Two, this card refers to the home where you now live. If you are not comfortable where you are living, then start looking around for a new home or to start doing things to your abode to make it more comfortable. It may be time to do a little repair or decorating, freshening things up a bit. Three, for those who are ready to hear it, this is a card about awareness. Awareness, in this sense, is about reaching that point in your spirituality where you suddenly feel your connection to the one source. This is when you truly understand that you are connected to spirit and always has been and always will be. It's the knowing that you are part of something much greater than your physical being here on earth. It's a knowing that goes to the core of your being. You have an integral role in all of existence. Once you begin to understand your own divinity, you begin to be kinder and to live life fuller and to be grateful for all that comes into your life. This card says that we all go home when our voyage on earth is finished. This is not a card about death and makes no predictions as such. It simply asks you to recognize your divine self. With this recognition 
comes a peace unlike any you have ever known. It is as if you have been absorbed into the glowing white energy of creation. Although we all go back to source when we leave our physical body, we do not lose our individuality. So do not fear that happening. Be in peace. Be comforted in the knowledge that you always have a home awaiting you. Your chant, I am, I have always been, I will always be. And so it is. Your daily Starseed Oracle card for September 4th, 2024 is Whale and Orca Elders. Whale and Orca Elders. Share your song. Frequency of sound. Diving deep. The Whale and Orca Elders are benevolent cosmic beings here to anchor a frequency of love into the planet to harmonize it with their song. As they weave around the oceans, they do so much more than any of us know. Their physical presence affects the Earth's magnetic field. Their harmonics call us to wake up and remember our own soul's song. Looking into the eye of a whale is something you'll never forget. Whales see into your very being, and in an instant, you're changed forever. They see beyond the physical, the woundings, the identity, the personality, the story. They see right into your soul. If you pulled this card, you're being called to surrender to your deepest truth and to share it with potency, to bow to who you truly are, to stretch your heart wide enough to hold it all, to leave your fears, doubts, and baggage at the door, to question any part of you that doesn't feel good enough. The whale and orca elders want to give others the privilege of seeing you for who you truly are and for you to see the same in other beings, to drop your hang-ups and personality flaws and get busy revealing the unique note your soul came here to sing. Allow the song that echoes into the four chambers of your heart to emanate in all four directions. Peel back the layers of suffering and pain and reveal to others your soul's true song and endeavor to see the souls of all those who you meet. Your starseed soul inquiry, how are you being called to share your soul's unique sound? Your Daily Priestess of Light Oracle card for September 4th, 2024 is Power Over Difficulty. Card 32, Power Over Difficulty, Reclaiming Your Power. This card brings you a warning that there are situations, people, or patterns in your life threatening to take over. The snake can be venomous, tempting, or even strangling. This card is an important reminder to be honest with yourself and to investigate your relationships and your daily activities to determine what may be harmful or dishonoring to you or even be consuming you. If someone is bringing a toxic energy to your life, it may be necessary to let that person go or at least reduce your exposure dramatically. If a situation seems to be suffocating you, or sapping your sense of freedom and enthusiasm. It is time to rethink your motivation for remaining engaged. And if you're feeling a building resentment for a job or even personal tasks, this card is telling you to learn how to bring more conscious joy to the experience or even to exit altogether. Also, be mindful of all your own personal patterns. Consider the causes of your making and the results they're creating. 
You don't want to become the snake that eats its own tail, consuming your own life force and sabotaging your own desire to move forward. Yet always remember the indomitable strength of your inner spirit and true life force, represented here by the swans, who in spite of their gentle beauty, are very powerful creatures capable of striking anything that attacks. You have the power as well. This card is telling you to strike out at your own self-sabotaging patterns and have the power to break free from any other limiting influences holding you down. Become conscious and courageous of your ongoing choices. You have the power now. I release toxic people and patterns from my life. I empower myself in my choices and in my relationships. Your daily energy reading for September 4th, 2024 is the astrology is telling you it's a family and or residence focus kind of day. Kanaz says creativity is the way to go. The Romance Oracle says malice is not the intention here. The fairies remind you that we all return to the one source in the end. The Starseed Oracle reminds you that only you can voice your unique expression into this world. The Priestess of Light Oracle reminds you that finding healthy ways to communicate with those around you is part of anchoring the light into the world. So, how you respond to others when they are in a state of wounded, which I'm going to be honest here, most of the world is in some form of state of wounding. We can't even help it. It's kind of like how we come into this world. And it's sort of part of the file by, you know, five trial by fire. Hmm. But sometimes we need to slow down so we can focus. There's no malice here. You want to express healthily and this person wants to express healthily back. That you could be related to them. You might need to get creative in how you express. But we're going to be focused on our home and our hearth and our feelings for the time being. So just remember as you interact with everybody, we're all humans. And to be having the human condition means we inherently, even if they don't display themselves in the exact same ways, we all tend to have the same emotions. We just don't necessarily react with the same emotions or display them in the same way to each input. So just as you need grace when you're going through something rough, so do other people. And you get the relationships you cultivate and you receive the energy you put into the world. So consider that before you interact with another.